Shalom, beloved family. It's your girl, Sophia Spiritual Light, and we're here for our daily um, prayer and reading. Of course, we meet every day at that Moore's at Soar. We say a prayer, we read a psalm, and then we do a three-card reading just to see what messages we can get from the Most High and the angels. So without further ado, all praise, all glory, and all honor goes to the Most High, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Great I Am, Loving Kindness, the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, David, Enoch, Moses, Noah, and Solomon. We thank you for another day to have labored in the vineyard. We ask for permission to speak with the angels for just a few moments so that we can get a message that will allow us to be of better service to you and to the kingdom. When we enter herein with all humility, let God the Almighty One enter into this place by the entrance of an eternal happiness, of a divine prosperity, of a perfect joy, of an abundant charity, and of an eternal salutation. Let all the demons fly from this place, especially those who are opposed unto this work, and let the angels of peace protect this place from which let discord and strife fly and depart. Magnify and extend upon us, O Lord, thy most holy name, and bless our conversation and our assembly. Sanctify, O Lord, our God, our humble entry herein, thou the blessed and holy one of the eternal ages. Selah. <clears throat> to the Holy Mother, we thank you for being with us. We thank you for guiding us. We thank you for walking with us down the path of life. O Divine Mother, vivify me with divine life, purify me with divine love, and illumine me with divine wisdom so that all I think and say and do, I may be more and more thy child. We acknowledge our older, wiser brother, Yahweh Shai, and the perfect example he set over how to both climb the tree of life and conquer the tree of death. And to the angels, to our personal guardian angels, to the archangels, to the council of nine, to the council of 12, to the council of 24, to the 24 elders, to the 42 letter name of the Most High, to the 72 letter name of the Most High, to the council of the 144,000, to the 216 angels atop the tree of life, to the entire administration of angels, and to all the angels whose names we know and the ones whose names we do not know. We ask that you come and be with us for a few moments and give us a message that will allow us to be of better service to the Most High and to the kingdom. Now let's read Psalm 16. All right. Preserve me, O God, for in thee do I put my trust. O my soul, thou hast said unto the Lord, Thou art my Lord, my goodness extendeth not to thee, but to the saints that are in the earth, and to the excellent, in whom is all my delight. Their sorrow shall be multiplied that hasten after another God. Their drink offerings of blood will I not offer, nor take up their names into my lips. The Lord is the portion of mine inheritance, and of my cup. Thou maintainest my lot. The lines are fallen unto me in pleasant places, yea, I have goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who hath given me counsel. My reins also instruct me in the night seasons. I have set the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad, my glory rejoiceth, my flesh shall also rest in hope. For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thy holy one to see corruption. Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Selah. So, we have our Rota Mundi deck here. And, of course, as I always say, it's just not a beginner deck. It's a advanced deck because of the heavy Kabbalistic themes. And uh, it's not that beginners can't use it. It's just that, you know, you'll have to take it slow, take it easy, learn your tree of life, and all of that. So... And if you go to the website, um, we still have that coupon up where if you leave us your email, you'll get 10% off of all your physical orders. And $5 off our upcoming courses. Sorry. I was like, wait, what was that amount again? Brain freeze. All right. So we have our cards here. Mm, all glory, all honor, and all praise go to the Most High, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Great I Am, Love and Kindness, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We again ask for permission to speak with the angels for just a few moments so that we can get a message that will allow us to have a greater understanding of you and of the kingdom. We thank the Holy Mother for always being with us. We acknowledge our older, wiser brother, Yahweh Shai, and to the angels whom we've already called in, we ask that you give us a message that's clear, that's easy for us to understand, that's easy for us to apply, and that allows us to um, 
to be of better service to the Most High and to the kingdom. And when you give us the message, of course, we will let the Most High know so that you are given all the credit that you deserve for all of your hard work. We are tremendously grateful for everything that you do for us. We understand that we have a long way to go, but we are making consistent daily efforts to try and be better. And therefore, we are tremendously grateful. And I just want to point out, while I'm still shuffling, is this shuffling process is kind of like a vortex. And so it may seem like, oh, the cards are just being shuffled, but it's really creating a vortex of energy. And so what I'm looking for when I'm shuffling is for the point that says, okay, stop, like now, okay, stop. That means that I've taken in all the energy that I need to take from the vortex and so that the cards that are presented are ones that the angels have put their energy into and their effort into. And the reason why I pick off the top is because I'm like I'm I'm an earth sign, I'm a Virgo, I'm a super Mercury, and I believe that in my world I don't uh open a book and just read a chapter. I read the whole book. And so I like to go in order. And so to me, the shuffling vortex effort creates enough energy that when I go in order, I get the information. Now, that's just because I'm a Virgo. Um, other signs obviously do it differently. Um, and I just wanted to say that because I don't think people understand. So that's why some people spray the cards out and then they, like, feel the energy coming off of them. I, I can't do that because my Mercurian uh, tendencies want me to just go in order. Just go in order. So um, that's why I do my cards the way that I do. And of course, the, fir <laughs> the first card we got is equilibrium or balance, naturally. For talking about order, there must be balance and order when you deal with Mercarians. And again, if you have not read Matthew chapter 25 through 28, I highly suggest that. It is unbelievable. The, sto the stuff that they even left in the Bible. I mean, I can't believe the stuff that they left out, but the stuff that they left in is shocking. And then our last card is the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, that was the Page of Pentacles, you guys. And this is the Queen of Pentacles. So we're grounded in a lot of reality and a lot of money. And this is John chapter 7 through 12. We do have chapter 7 and 8 already up on the, um, in the Spiritual Light Bible Study link. Um... I've already done those videos, so I'm just going to start with my other tarot book because I have a feeling that um, the main one is, is not going to be that helpful. We just really need to read that Matthew 25 through 28. I'm going to reread it today. And then John 7 through 12, also unbelievable stories, unbelievable stories in those, um, in those Gospels, which means the stuff that they left out is even more shocking. So let's start with the Eight of Swords. Which, if I'm not mistaken, hold on. Y'all know I hate stopping to do research be because it always takes forever. But I have a feeling this is what the card we're under now for these next 10 days of our fast. Just want to verify that. Yes. We, no, no, no. It's the Eight of Wands, not the Eight of Swords. Okay. So, but yesterday we got the Eight of Trees. Not yesterday. Uh, Shemesh. We got the Eight of Trees. So this eight keeps coming up, and that's the only number that we have is eight. Um, so anyway, the eight of swords. This card usually shows a person bound and blindfolded in the midst of a semicircle with swords stuck in the ground. This one does not. It's about equilibrium. Okay? Rather than express that there is no way out of a situation, the meaning is that there is no need to struggle against the obvious. Simply say the course and all will unfold as it should. Sometimes people want to rush events or micromanage every part of a process when neither is required. Patience is implied here, for there is a light coming after the storm, and the current troubles will soon pass of their own accord. And this, um, the key words here are dilemma, say the course, patience needed, and ignore rumor. So, for me, this process of bringing about an equilibrium has been, I have been bringing in information and just tempering it against the spirit, meaning seeing does that does that sound right? What does that feel right? Does that 
you know, does that seem like it's a, a proper um, assessment of what's going on? And if it doesn't seem like a proper assessment, I say something's not right here. And instead of fighting against it, like um, uh, traditional conspiracy theorists would, I don't fight against it. I just say, okay, well, something's not right here. And I don't really have to take this on. So I'm just going to leave it where it is. So I still have that file with the information, but I'm not feeding it like my energy. So I think that's a really good way to describe it. And it is an equilibrium process because I can still bring in information. So I still go through, you know, I use um, alternative social media. I'm on Gab. And so I see what the Gentiles there are saying. And um, I take that information in and I just hold it as a frame of reference. And then I, you know, maybe check Twitter or something like that and see what's going on this is recent because I had given up um basically all the social media um and then of course once I developed this understanding I was like well I should I need to see what people are saying like actual people and not bots and that's a whole nother set of things but the long story short of it is I had already cultivated like my Twitter list to be full of people who were real people you know because we had i had either spoken with them or talked to them or people that i knew um like i said i was in the um the entertainment industry for a, a great deal of time so i know a lot of people from there and so my list is very uh eclectic um and then i was affiliated with the hoteps obviously so i have a lot of hotep people still on my feed and that's also very interesting so i just temper it i take the information in and I don't react to it. Um, I don't feed it my energy. And that's the balance that we need to be able to take the information in, but not have any of our energy go out as a process of taking the information in. And the better we get at that, um, the more helpful it will be for us in service to the kingdom and to the most high. All right. And um, the page of pentacles or stars, coins, um, the page. I'm going to read the correct one this time. Pages represent news on the whole. And if you look at Matthew 25 to 28, it is a lot of news in there, I tell you. Um, and actually, the first story, the, the first story, Matthew chapter 25, is the story of the um, the ten virgins and the five who had extra oil for their lamps and the five who didn't. That's the very first story in Matthew 25. All right, so this card shows the ability to turn an interest into a money-making career through diligent application of energy and effort. The power of youthful vision adds energy to this new project and may indicate a new lifestyle or identity is being assumed. Financial independence is brought about by developing a new talent or skill to realize the potential earnings from this. This may also be the card of scholarship of the student and associated finances. And the key words here are turning interest into career, diligence and work and study. And so I feel like, again, today, this energy for Medim is still pretty bad. So today was a day to definitely um, work on yourself, research and study, gather data, gather information and, um, you know, do something with it because the whole thing is like we should not be waiting for the kingdom like I just want to emphasize that because um people just I mean the camp people you'll never get to through to them but our people I want you to know there's no waiting for the kingdom like the kingdom is within us we have to build our own kingdom and so if you're waiting for you know the most high to take you to the kingdom that's not possible and I would like to add in so you know I've been doing a lot of karmic work and um, yesterday I had asked, you know, one of the things on my list, my very personal list has to do with um, uh, housing stability. And um, yesterday I asked the same thing and I got a yes. Well, not yesterday. Lavana, no, 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 Shemesh, I asked the same question. I have the same list. I made this list at the beginning of the fast. Shemesh, I asked the same question. I got a yes about housing security. Then yesterday I asked the same question, but this was after I had asked the Lord's Karma and the Divine Director if they needed assistance. There was things I could do on this planet to be assisting of them. And um, I asked the same question. I got no. And I said, well, is that due to my 
you know, newfound work with you all that now I, my housing is not going to be secure for eternity. And they said, yes. And I said, okay, so, but can it be secure for the rest of this lifetime? And they said, yes. So that was interesting. Um, you know, so anyway, anyway, I just wanted to point that out that I don't know what that has to do with any of this. Well, diligence and work and study, you know, the diligence part, you know, working on your karma, releasing your karma is a process that you have to do over time. It's not a process that you do in one time and it's one and done. Because um, I ask, you know, and like I said this morning, we do have a lot of ancestral stuff that we need to clean up. And therefore, this process of dealing with our karma is is kind of a a drawn out process and we really need to um you know we have to be very diligent in our work towards what we're trying to accomplish so um anyway let's go on to the last one which john chapter 7 to 12 another outrageous set of stories um and it, it it's so the bible is so uh what they what they left what they if what they left in is as fantastical as it is, what they took out, it must be like just totally shocking. So the Queen of Pentacles, um, here a cultured person who has the ability to bring to, into fruition plans leading to economic security and well-being. Practical ambitions and a nurturing nature allow for self-sufficiency and good rewards for work. This is the card of planning ahead and having those plans work out. Finances are solid. Money resources are kept under control. So the image of that calm wisdom in money management and strong, sensible utilization of funds. This may indicate a single parent household in which finances are carefully monitored for self-sufficiency or lesser income successfully supplementing a larger income to facilitate enjoying the little extras in life. And this correlates with plans realized, realistic ambitions, and financial independence. So again, if you look at the flow of this particular reading, you see that first you have to come into balance, right? Following that balance, you have to be diligent in your work. And then as a result of that diligence in your work, you know, you'll have your financial independence or the kingdom, you know, the financial independence is, is an indicator of wealth, an indication of the kingdom. So first you have to be able to balance your emotions. And that's what we do every day with these readings. I hope that it's helping people to, to balance their emotions. I definitely myself feel more balanced because I know certain things are coming. So I'm able to absorb information without like feeding my energy into it. And then from that, you have to put in your work, you have to do your diligence. And then once you do your diligence, you'll have your financial independence. So of course, these cards are night cards. So you just sleep on that. I'm going to write these down and um, then we'll do our blessing of the separate. All right, let's do our blessing of the separate. Blessed be the light beyond all being. Forever blessed be the mighty one. Keter, blessed be the breathing of origination. Forever blessed be the mighty one. Chokba, blessed be eternal wisdom. Forever blessed be the mighty one. Bina, blessed be omniscient understanding. Forever blessed be the mighty one. Chesed, blessed be perpetual compassion. Forever blessed be the mighty one. Devora, blessed be almighty justice, forever blessed be the mighty one. Tifrit, blessed be transcendent beauty, forever blessed be the mighty one. Netzat, blessed be unceasing victory, forever blessed be the mighty one. Hod, blessed be surpassing glory, forever blessed be the mighty one. Yesod, blessed be infallible foundation, 
Forever blessed be the mighty one. Now church, blessed be all life throughout the kingdom. Forever blessed be the mighty one. All praise, all glory, and all honor go to the Most High, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the great I am, loving kindness, the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. We thank you for allowing us to speak with the angels for just a few moments, and we would like to report back that they have fulfilled the covenant, and therefore we would like that to be noted to their records. To the Holy Mother, we thank you for always being with us. We acknowledge our older, wiser brother for the perfect example that he set and of course to all the angels whom we've called in we thank you you guys are doing a great job we let the most high know that you fulfilled the covenant and we are eternally grateful for all of your hard work and service to us and to the kingdom let god be praised in the beginning and the end who supplicates him he will neither despise nor refuse god above us god before us god possessing all things may the father of heaven grant us a portion of mercy Baruch Shem Kevod Maltruto Loalam Vayed. Blessed be the name of his glorious kingdom throughout eternity. Ha Rashaman Hu Yeshazir Lanu Avodat Biet Hamikdash Limkoma Bimhira Biyamanu. Omen, 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 and Selah. May the merciful one restore unto us the service of his holy temple to its place speedily and in our days. Amen, 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 and Selah. To the spirits who are here with us, you're invited to go in peace. To my beloved viewers, you're invited to be at peace. And always remember, the Most High is your peace. Shalom, everyone. We'll see you for the reading tomorrow morning at Demore.